everybody remember back here with another video man on the best slash fastest way to level up here in nba 2k22 my team it has been maybe about a week and a half two weeks um and this is on my no money spent account i already kind of reached level 40 on my other account did domination 100 so i have been grinding almost two accounts and i'm level 39 so it really shouldn't be no excuse why you shouldn't be able to reach level 40 because this season is plus is the end, almost the end of the game life cycle they give a lot of bunch of xp before you come to the like comment and subscribe uh, i also have another no man's video dropping later on for you guys today i'm um, about some free packs and stuff like that but let's get started. Shouldn't be too long of a video, but let's go ahead and talk and discuss. As you guys see the top right of your screen, I am level 39. Um, like I said, uh, I really haven't been doing as much, I haven't been playing much, and there's no way to spend the count all year. I just came back this season. But you're probably saying, what is potentially the best way, fast way to level up? Got yeah, a couple tips for you guys. So, for one, and first and foremost, please make sure you take care of your daily objective. Objective like it's mad. Take care of your daily XP. Um, it does add up over time or over 40 days so that cuz they will help out a lot It may get you to a certain spot you may be might be missing if you're lacking certain cards you couldn't get doing your dailies will also help out a lot now sometimes when i'm getting random objectives but the main thing i say my advice for you guys is excuse me is to mix in different uh xp challenges with other challenges to do to save you a little bit more time be a little bit more efficient now i remember the first one we got kobe uh the following we got lamello and lamello carmelo and lamello then we had Giannis and um uh yaming then this week we have a uh, taco fall and jr smith now obviously in previous seasons we used to be able to keep it usually usually maybe two weeks or at least the entire season uh for each nba uh, my team but Right now, no, but my advice for, so for example, let's just say um, Taco Fall needs points, which is actually very simple, very easy to do. You either do this in Domination on Ricky or um, the challenges or even going to Triple Threat. But the best thing you can probably, let's just say for some reason, you need 90 points. So for some, let's just say, that's just probably not a good example. Let's try this one. Yeah, this is probably the best one I probably can do. Ah. It's kind of hard to show because they don't not, the current ones right now don't actually have it um so let's just say for example Giannis needs threes and let's just say this said Giannis uh Yami needs assists so you kind of put those two together and combine if you have the MT just depends on your MT status but the main thing you want to do is make sure you're matching other challenges with other challenges so if y'all needs a double double Giannis needs an assist or somebody else needs rebounds you want to tie it all in together and work on that at a double double if you're going to need to do a double double like i said I, i'm not what you call it doing this all over again um for me it's, i think the best one probably might end up being the raptors uh just play good defense or just let certain people shoot i believe siaka may have a horrible three but even though it is on rookie but just play on rookie and you can go through there and get your double double it shouldn't take you too long um also the best thing also these season eight players which is, have been coming out a lot but they're very very cheap to get or free to get so um that's actually very easy to do the weeklies are very um also very important now they're, they're getting a lot more xp to give out um now because of so week one week two now only thing that's kind of going to credit how kind of hurt a lot of people especially this one for me you just need 13 bucks players <laughs> sometimes but i actually have that so um this is one of the things i forgot to mention whenever i was doing a video and i'm actually kind of editing it right now when it comes to certain this thing now, one thing that does really kind of harm is that especially with this one with the new jr smith and taco fall you gotta have the end games or the invincibles to get even more xp but what also helped out for me even the original owner does bring a pro i have a it's really a big problem for me is the free agent card now if you happen to have any of the free agents um i recommend at least saving them for these right here because i do have braun i do have Giannis. i did use john i think I, I don't think i have a michael jordan but that Giannis one did come in handy for this particular one because you guys you guys can see an original owner um Giannis. so this was actually kind of helped out a lot i just want to throw that out there um especially with these particular in-game ones to so some of these players if you have these free agent cards I would hold on to them until you get uh, until you actually need them, especially if you know Domination also gives you a lot as well. Um, if you are playing Domination, I recommend if you want to over the next 15 days play two a day that will uh, equal out to 30 games. Now, if you don't have the time, stuff like that. The tokens, especially if you're just gonna start like myself on this account, I don't have enough tokens to even get to the Dark Matter. I am in the Galaxy Opal tier. Um, this one's also be very very big. The season eight tip off. And also, uh, which I kind of uh, already completed, um, 
I guess you can say, uh, well, I guess I don't know go, but the main was also with the Devil Book one, which you got a free locker code. Um, was also this one as well. Knocking out every single one of these was a very, very, very big help. Um, for like I said, example, um, it's like the steals and stuff like that. Like, like I said, I said, Thomas, you want to tie that in with Giannis and Dirk, tie it in all again with rebounds, assists, points. That's all you typically want to do, and also going into these challenges. Like with the level, with all these levels, you can tie that in as well because you won't get XP from that. You also kind of need those players, but you can also add in other XP uh, things as well. So I have been grinding and working a lot, y'all. So please, I have been just been sitting on my ass. Um, and also D. So it's all really technically about, and just in my advice, it's just mixing in a different bunch of challenges all together to help out. Now you're going to have to do them. Now obviously tomorrow we'll have a weekend one. You're, it's going to be a little bit of a chunk that it will tie in with limited because i can't play limited on this account just yet but for sure guys my advice is to always always stack with multiple different challenges man um that's pretty technically it i, I know you're probably saying well that, that's a bad 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 some bad advice no that is some some good advice mixing in different ones like i say you either go to triple threat domination go here put it on rookie you can get a lot of them done in a rookie game trust me in five minutes you can do a lot a lot of challenges in that time frame so and also you go to spotlight and stuff like that you go over here these will also help out as well also getting packs in the process as well but for sure make sure you are taking care of business ladies and gentlemen but i'm out peace